Hi everyone. I just received today in the mail some Annis Universal Guards. They are this is a nine piece set and I ordered them out of the pet department where you all go to uh buy the pet clippers and that's where I found these cones at and what made me purchase them was they come in a different sizes than, than what your average guard uh, sets come in. And what I mean by that is in your regular set of guards, like uh, just say for instance these, these come with a zero, a one, a two, a three, and a four. And then you can buy another set which comes with the larger guards in it which would be like your six and eight. Uh, I can't remember exactly all the numbers to that larger set. But the way these come, they have a half guard between each number. And what I mean is that this is the zero guard. And this is the one. This is the one and a half. This is the two. Two and a half. Three. Three and a half. Four. Four and a half. And um, these these guards also come with a larger set too, which you can purse separately. And... Um, you can see that this is a small set, nine piece, small cone set. And uh, another thing about the, the number of the guard starts from the biggest and work it way back. In other words, it's go opposite. Uh, this is uh, seven, but it's actually a zero guard, but it has seven. The same as this. This is a one, but it got six on the back. One and a half had a five on the back, and so on and so on. And, um, but, uh, you know, I, I'm loving these guards. You know, they're great quality. You know, they, um, they're made out of the same material as these are, the same type of plastic. So they are durable. They won't break. They're not too weak. But uh, they're not just, you know, flimsy. They'll break either, easily. But, um, uh, only issue I have with these guards is when you are uh, putting them on your animasters. So if you have an uh, animaster, they're sort of difficult. That and, and it's only the smaller guards, you know, like the one, the zero, the one, the one and a half. Once you work your way up to about the two, actually the one and a half is, is not as bad. But once you work your way on up from there, you know, you, you're good to go. They'll fit your master, but you will have to make an adjustment. And what I did was took a pair of needle nose pliers and these clips on the back was bent downward so you can clip the back of your blade. But um, I bent them up so they gave them a little more space to where I can just slide it on my masters easily. And that's only with the bigger guard. So, you know, they, they go on. Well, I actually, all of them slide on easy. It's just taking these smaller guards off. Where you start having your, your problem at, you know, they're hard to, to pull back off. And, and the reason why, because these teeth are so short, you know, and they, you know, they small. So pulling it back off is where your issue come in at. So, I mean, if you just want to purchase these solely for an master, I would rec recommend you just stay with these. But these are perfect for your oysters. If you have an oyster fast feed or wall clipper and a wall clipper you know i don't know about the legend um the wall legend i don't know it's a different type blade on that i don't own one of those those blades but all the other walls um blades on those those other types of clippers they come they, they fit though perfectly it was like this set were made for wall and, and if you just gonna use strictly wall clipper you don't even have to bend these up you can just leave them as the way you purchase them and they fit on uh i mean perfect but um i paid twenty dollars for these and i think i got a great deal i'm loving them i don't have nothing against them because most of my blending come i do i do most of my blending from my um five star fade blade on my wall and then my oyster we're well, not oyster i have a kind of pro but it's the same as the oyster fast feed you carry the uh, same type of blade and everything the same size blade and they work great for the old clippers and again, I say it again, and these work great on the master and the bigger sizes. And I'm just going to say from here and on up, these sizes don't, don't issue. Just these smaller ones you have trouble with. So if you do order for a master 
and his master, you probably want to have a, uh, some of these on hand for your smaller guards, and you can work your way up from there. But I'm going to show you an example of what I'm talking about. And uh, I have my wild magic clip, and I'm taking the smaller guard. And the way you want to put these on, you want to clip it onto the back of your blade first, you know, push it, and you push it up. And it pops on, you know, line it up, and it won't go. It's on this good, sturdy. And I'm going to put a larger one on now. Easily. Comes out easily, but it's on that good and sturdy once you put them on now. It won't go nowhere. Okay, uh, next I'm going to be showing you an example with the... This is the Conair Pro, this is the pivot motor, just like the uh, Arsfad feed. You can put a Arsfad feed blade on this, so they're the exact same blades. And uh, again, no problem with these, with putting them on these. You know, good, sturdy, tight. You know, you want to push it off the same way you put it on now. Um, even with your detachable blade you want to use a number a three out blade and it's the same scenario you know you all push it on now put on push on now easily on easily off uh, with the anti masters and I'm gonna start out with the bigger guard first and you see it goes on now on that good, sturdy, tight, no issue. Comes out just easy. Now when it comes to um, using um, one of these smaller guards, I'm gonna try the one and a half. When it comes to uh, these smaller ones, it's a little bit difficult. And this one went on, like I say, go on easy. But the one and a half went on pretty simple. Let me just go to the zero. As you can see, I'm pushing it on. I had to take a little force to get it on. And I get it back off is where your problem come in. I got it off then pretty much easy. But a lot of times you have to struggle with getting it back off. And you want to have your blade let out when you put it, put it on your mouth. Because if you try to push it on with the blade let in, the only thing it does is pushes your blade out on its own. So, like I said, you have a little bit of a struggle with the masters. But um, all in all, these are great guards. I mean... It's something to invest in if you're looking for the perfect blends and, and uh, tapering. You can get in that. And again, I say these come in a larger set. You know, this the, the highest. This goes to the four and a half, which is um, it's a 14 millimeter. And um, you know, and the, and the smaller it is, the zero. And they got a half guard in between each number, so it's a great set uh, to invest in. And um, I'm loving them, you know. I'm, uh, I'm like I said, I'm gonna uh, use them mostly for my my um, walls and that and that uh, Conair Pro. And until the next time, peace.